Hey everyone, I'm Brianna, and welcome to episode 10 of the Twilight Saga Animal Crossing series. Please keep a look out for the live I plan on doing this Friday, April 15th. I'm going to be decorating my wolf villagers' houses and possibly Jacob's house as well. But today we're going to be terraforming a double diagonal road to the push, as well as waterscaping a waterfall. So let's go ahead and get started. Right now I'm just showing you how to terraform diagonally. This is not the diagonal road that I actually went with. It was actually kind of difficult to figure out the location of where it should go. So I just went ahead and did that off camera. So this is what it's looking like so far. I didn't want to skip ahead too much because I did want to show you guys how to do the double diagonal. Now I'm terraforming where I think I want the second incline to go. I really like this spot for the second incline, so I'm just going to skip to the next day so I can continue terraforming the road. Like for my entrance build, you need to make sure the diagonals are three across. You'll see here I messed up a little bit, but I caught it just in time to not mess up my whole build. I don't want to bore you too much with all this pathing, but I did want to give you an example on what to do when you're doing diagonal roads. So I'm just going to skip ahead and show you the completed pathing. And I love, love, love the way that this turned out. I know we've seen a lot of diagonal roads in the game, but I don't quite think we've seen a lot of the double diagonal ones. So that's why I was excited to share this with y'all. Now I'm just showing you the view that I want the waterfall to go. I do want it visible behind the bookstore, so I'm going to be checking back and forth to make sure that you can see everything from the lookout point that I plan to do there. Since we're finally waterscaping, here's a reference picture of what I wanted to do with the lake and the waterfall. It's going to be the scene where Bella and Jacob were going to La Push. I think that they were going to be driving motorcycles or maybe they were working on the motorcycles at that point, but they stopped on the side of the road because Bella saw some of the wolves cliff diving. So I definitely want this area to resemble that.
After giving it a couple looks, I realized that tree did not look good right there. I initially thought it would be cool to have trees down below, but it just was not working. Maybe if I tried a stunted tree, it could have looked a little bit better, but I just went ahead and added bushes and some flowers down there. Now I think I'm finally done waterscaping the first year of the waterfall. I really like the spacing. I don't know why, but sometimes when I'm doing these builds, I go back and forth between doing stuff. So now I'm just going to start pathing out the lookout point. I'm also going to be adding the rope fence here as well. You know what, it's so funny. You think I would plan this in every single video of my villagers giving me stuff? Honestly, whenever I'm filmed, they just always came up to me, but I just love that that's a continuing theme with my series. After I got the rope situated, I did want to bring the wood path up a little bit towards the road. I didn't like the little blank green area there. And now that that's done, I went ahead and terraformed the rest of the waterfall. So this is what it's looking like. Before I went and added the finishing touches to my waterfall, I had to take this picture of Fang. He was looking so cute by the lake. I've never really seen him sit down and just enjoy himself on my island, so I had to take a picture of that. And then I had to take another picture because Wolfgang and Tia came over. I've never seen these three together when I was building, so I had to take a picture to commemorate this. I feel like I have so many photos in my camera roll of just my villagers doing regular stuff. Does anyone else have like random photos of their villagers too? Alright, since my little photography session is over, I'm going to start adding flowers as well as trees over here. I am going to also put volcanoes here to symbolize mountains. I ended up using the winter variation of it instead of any of the other ones because it looked the most mountainous to me and I love the way that it turns out. Since I am pretty much done, I'm giving it a little check to see how I like it. I didn't like the area over where Fang was, so I had to get him out of the way. So I can start changing the spacing of the flowers and the bushes. I think I changed this about three times until I finally got it right, but I love the way that this turned out. We are done with our little waterfall area. Now it's time to move on to decorating the road. I want to do this at night so I can get the lighting correct. To decorate, I just plan on adding a little bit of trees, a little bit of flowers, definitely garden benches, street lamps, garden lanterns, and leaf piles.
and we are done with that. Now I'm coming back over to add back the rope fence. I had taken that away because on the left side of the road, I added cypress plants to see how I liked it off camera. I ended up really liking it, so I'm gonna repeat it on the right side. Oh, I forgot to mention that I added this little area over here. I wanted to mimic the wood path on the other side as well. And I think I'm just gonna have a seating area over there. Moving on to the area between the road and the beach, I wanted to have a mini little forest over here. So I'm adding the hardwood trees, cedar trees, evergreen ash, and chefras to build up that area. And then in front of that, I'm gonna do a mini little lake to continue the water on the other side. Like I've been saying this whole series, I love symmetry, so I'm definitely gonna incorporate that with this build. And this build is coming to a close after I get done setting up this patio area with seating as well as some coffee and some books. We are finally, finally done. I know that was a long build, so let's go ahead and cue the montage. And that is the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. This has been such a fun series to do and I'm so happy you all are enjoying it. Please make sure to like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.